With me today is Billy Carroll. Billy is the coordinator of the Suttersville Food Pantry. Hi, Billy. How are you? Hi, I'm good today. Now, Thank can you. you tell us a little bit about the Suttersville Food Pantry? The Suttersville Food Pantry is a ministry of the Suttersville United Methodist Charge, which is con consists of Calvary Asbury in Suttersville, Marvin Memorial in Barclay, and St. Paul's in Ingleside. The ministry is a big part of our community. We serve approximately 75 families per month. And those families come only from the northern part of Queen Anne's County, Price and Churchill, north to the Kent County, Maryland line, and east to the Kent County, Delaware line. Uh, can you tell us how, how can uh, someone get it in touch with the food pantry or what do they need to come to the food pantry to get something? We require our participants to go and be certified through the Department of Social Services. We follow the federal poverty guidelines so that they should be eligible through income. We also accept vouchers from um, the schools in our area or the Family Support Center or the Health Department and possibly the Department of Aging. All right, where are you located, Billy? We're located located at Calvary Azra United Methodist Church, 103 North Church Street in Sellersville. And um, we operate from on the fourth Tuesday, Monday of each month and the fourth Tuesday of each month. On Monday, we're there from 10 to noon. And on Tuesday evening, we're there from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. That way we can handle both people that are working and also non-working. Over the last couple of years, have you seen the number of people that need your services increase? Yes, we've seen a dramatic change over the last few years. Uh, particularly when the recession was at its greatest, we saw people come sporadically in need. But now it seems that we have a consistent number of approximately 75 families. Those families consist of singles and families that are blended, I would say folks that are living multi-generational within the same household, up to probably seven or eight fat members in the, each family. And what type of food products do you distribute? We distribute mostly non-perishables, which would be cereal, peanut butter and jelly, canned products, vegetables, fruits, uh, beef stew, chili, um, pastas. We try to give things that are wholesome and filling for the families. Um, and right now we are in partnership with the Millington Food Lion. They have been gracious to provide us with their excess bakery and deli products. We receive those foods three days a week. And what we do is we freeze them each month and then on the day of distribution, we bring them out for the folks to choose from. How do people in the community uh, uh, donate things to your organization? Can they call the church or how do they get in touch with you? Yes, they may call the church. At, our number is 410-438-3816. The hours are 9 to 1, Monday through Thursday. However, we have an answering machine, so if you're not uh, available to call at that time, you may leave a message. Uh, we do pick up food if there's large quantity or they may drop the, f the food off when the hours are open. And how about the uh, the homeless people? How do they find out about you? Or is this kind of a word of mouth? Uh, do they just walk in off the streets? I think you said they need a voucher uh, or proof of identity or citizenship. Yeah, we do uh, generally require the voucher. However, people do come on an emergency basis and we serve those folks regardless of um, whether they have the voucher or not on a one-time basis. Following that, they must go to social services or one of the other entities that I previously mentioned. How can the rest of us in the community get involved and help you? We have a lot of jobs that are available. For, all of our work is done by volunteers. Uh, my husband and I do most of the shopping for the, the food. Uh, we always accept monetary donations. We also have volunteers that come uh, the day of the distribution. They come early in the morning and they help us pack the bags that are uh, distributed to the folks that come at 10 o'clock. Uh, because we're serving 75 families a month, it 
takes probably two hours to pack the parcels that we distribute in the month's time. So anyone that wants to help out can just show up? They can show up or they can call the church and, and um, ask whether we need volunteers a particular month or uh, we generally never turn down a volunteer because there's always something for us to do. And sometimes they're busier than others. In the fall, we have um, Thanksgiving, we do a turkey drive so that uh, we do have a lot of extra help at that point. Tell me again, what are the hours that the uh, food pantry is open and what days are they open? The pantry is open generally, except for holiday uh, months. We, the fourth Monday of every month, 10 a.m. to noon, and Tuesday evening, 6.30 to 7.30, the fourth Tuesday. Now, will your organization be involved, or how will you be involved in the uh, program that's coming up in October, the Make a Difference Day here in Queen Anne's County? We have uh, pledged to help provide the breakfast items. Since we're in a relationship with Food Line, we're hoping that we will accumulate breakfast items for that uh, event. Very good, very good. Well, Billy, thank you so much for coming in today. I appreciate hearing what you're doing, and thank you for all the work that you're doing. All right, thank you very much.